Gigli bought Volvo from Ford. Remember, Volvo What's up, guys? Um, it is Tuesday, and um, I want to show you some interesting uh, statistics about Volvo, so check it out. this has worked out very well. So back in 2010, this company, Geely Automotive Holdings, I think they're a Chinese company, I forget, but they're up 592% since 2010 when they bought Volvo from Ford, and Ford is down 18% since then. So definitely a good deal for Geely, and uh, they, they gave Volvo the attention they needed because sales have been increasing ever since, so I thought that was pretty interesting. As far as our stocks are going, AMD is up 15 cents right now. I saw uh, Amazon is up, and Alibaba is up, so that is really good. Also, NVIDIA is up, so hopefully we have a good day today. We had a really horrible day yesterday. Um, yeah, so we're hoping to make some money back. Um, really excited about the new Tesla calls we picked up yesterday and the applied materials. It was only nine calls for applied materials, so we didn't put like, a whole bunch of money in. If I do get more money in the future, I might pick up some more calls on them, but excited nonetheless. Sold five calls, picked up 14, so I'm happy. Um, and so I'm going to get some editing done, eat some breakfast, and then we'll check back in the afternoon, see how we're doing. What's up? Uh, it is almost 8 o'clock, and I just saw there's a skunk in my backyard walking around. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, stupid skunk. They're everywhere right now. I don't know why they're like, I think we have an infestation in this whole town. <laughs> it's just, I've, this is the second time I've seen a skunk in like the last week. Oh my gosh, those things smell so bad. Anyways, let's get down to business and see how we did today. So I'm gonna pause real quick. All right, so let's see how we did. All right, we, so we officially made, basically just made back the entire amount of money that we lost yesterday and maybe a little bit more, but this is pretty much where we were before we lost that 10 grand yesterday, or however much we lost. And so, yeah, great day today. We made 11,084. So another five-figure day in the books. Really excited about that. Let's see who our winners were, like our top performers, percentage-wise. So we got, let's see, our number one winner was Activision Blizzard. I gotta check to see if anything happened with them. Maybe they reported good earnings, I'm not sure. Because I, the video I just uploaded today was literally from three months ago and it said they were reporting earnings. So maybe they reported again, that makes sense. Uh, but we got a lot of other ones in the 20s. Apple, Alibaba, EA Sports, um, and another Apple. Then we got some double digit ones here. Square, Microsoft, Applied Materials. Really glad I picked up those calls yesterday. Nice, 225 bucks today. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, a Micron. Um, let's see who else. We got Apple up here. So yeah, a lot of lot of good ones. A lot, a lot of good ones. Amazon, Nvidia. We had just overall a really good day. You can see them all here. I don't really need to read them off to you, but even though I just did, um, we got. And then here's our ones who did bad. Two of our Tesla calls. For some reason, the new Tesla call we just picked up went down today. It was up earlier, but. And then this other Tesla call went down, and then the other two. So not a good, not a great day for our Tesla calls, but that's okay. And then Google went down. So watch list here. We got here. Well, we just I'll just show them here real quick because my girlfriend's about to walk in the door soon. Blah 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 blah. And you can see those. All right. So let's wrap up this video. All right. So um, we're gonna wrap up this video. It's actually like almost 11 o'clock now, but. I do want to talk about one article I read about Activision Blizzard because they were our top performer today. Um, there's a company in London called Stern and & Company and they are known for making very few investments per year. Like they kind of brag about how little trading they do. And uh, so I'm going to read you some quotes from the article and uh, they're, they're super bullish on Activision Blizzard because that's uh, one of the few trades they're actually doing this year. So uh, the article is basically saying like when a company who makes very few trades is really excited about a trade, you have to listen up because it's pretty important. So um, their chief investment officer, Chris Rosbach, I think is how you pronounce his name, uh, they said they're very long-term investors and uh, since the inception of the, their core portfolio in October 2012, uh, they have traded only two or three companies per year. Okay, so they said the esports are the future and will likely leave the pro sports in the dust, at least for investors. And they said that the management and CEO of Activision Blizzard 
almost created the industry of esports, and that's saying a lot. So there's one last thing. There's a company called Newzu, which is an expert in video games data. They predict that the global esports audience will increase to a staggering 385 million people in 2017. That's literally more than the people in the United States. Uh, and estimate estimates that revenues from esports will grow from 130 million to in 2012 to 696 million this year. So they have a lot of positive things to say about esports in general and Activision Blizzard. And the article also mentioned, I'll put a link in the description if you want to read it again, but I pretty much touch, touched everything, but they were saying that oh, they're also their audience is very highly engaged, which is a big difference. I guess a big difference, but they said with pro sports, you know, people are engaged too, but with pro sports, you can't really like buy stock in a sport um, like you can with esports because with regular sports, you know, like the people making money are usually like the team owners, the, like the clubs in general, like the comp like the NFL company in general, whatever, who owns that. You can't really buy stock in like football, for example. But with esports, you can buy stock in the companies that are driving that industry, like Activision Blizzard, for example. Another one, Take Two Interactive. And um, so, I don't, sorry, phone cut out again because I ran out of space. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's it about the video games. I did want to talk about one more thing before I go. Um, I was just watching the latest leak video on everything Apple Pro about the iPhone 8 and he mentioned that uh, there was an article that was saying that uh, it's pretty much confirmed by now by the way that they're gonna have facial recognition software and their cameras are gonna be able to recognize your face to unlock the phone and he was saying that this article was saying that they're two years ahead of their competition in terms of their facial recognition and how superior it is right now and so that is really really exciting news um, because you know just gives them a huge head, huge head start. And they were saying that it could recognize your face in like within a couple hundred millionths of a second. It's gonna be that quick. So it should actually be faster than Touch ID. Uh, it's just really crazy um, if this is true, how uh, advanced it's going to be. So that's just really exciting. I'm really stoked for the keynote next month. Uh, I think Apple stock's gonna go up a lot up until then. So again, that's one of my favorite picks right now. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic night and we will see you tomorrow.